Happening today, public hearings are set to begin to gain feedback on the Brent Spence Bridge Corridor Project. Our Jordan Villains joins us live now from Covington, where the first of four public hearings will be held tonight. Jordan. Well, this is a project with a $3.6 billion price tag. So, of course, they're hoping to get public opinion and really what is just the latest step in this year-long project, years-long, I should even say, regarding the Brent Spence Bridge Corridor Project. So those meetings are going to begin tonight. They're going to stretch until Thursday, but it's going to be an in-person meeting right here in Covington. Again, really hoping to get what the public is thinking, maybe their input on the latest rendering and what have you. Let's take a look now, uh, though, because just back in December, so just a couple of months ago, this video was released. As you can tell, it's animated. It shows kind of a flyover view of what the Brent Spence Companion Bridge project is expected to look like by the summer of 2029. So the project would be stretching all the way from Dixie Highway in Fort Mitchell to Ezra Charles Drive in Cincinnati, and it would turn Interstate 71 and 75 into two separate separate interstate systems. One of them would be for local traffic, and then the other one would be for people basically passing through Cincinnati. So again, as part of this project, crews would build a new bridge that would carry that through traffic just west of the current Brent Spence Bridge, which again, local drivers would still be able to use as a go-between between Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. So let's take a look now at some of the details regarding these hearings this week. As I mentioned, the first one happening tonight, 4.30 to 8 o'clock, it'll be held at the Radisson Hotel right here in Covington. And then tomorrow, there's going to be two separate in-person hearings. Both of those will be at Longworth Hall Event Center on Pete Rose Way over in Cincinnati. Now, the final hearing is going to be a virtual one. This is going to be from Thursday or on Thursday from 5.30 to 7. Using the website, you can see there on your screen. So again, once more, it's important. If you do want your voice heard, if you do want to perhaps get the chance to go up after the meeting and speak at the podium, about really your questions and concerns. It is important uh, that you do register beforehand if you indeed wish to speak. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio.